want to start off the speech by telling all my housemates, past and present, that you, you are all kings and queens. So I came here with a message and I want to pass that message. If I hurt you, I'm really sorry. I hold nothing against you in my heart. Go make money. We go chop money. We go buy machines. All of us are winners. Didn't stop you from winning the Edelhouse title. <laughs> Onyeka shared her journey of moving from list four to the finale. That coming into the house, it all started with even learning from Big Brother's words. That Big Brother always advised her on how you can have good intentions, but they will still not turn out good for the person you tended to. And learning to have to live alone on her own and allow Chizoba as well leave hers because she has always been that person that cares so much about others not minding about herself that she's always willing to take bullet for others not even minding who will stand there to take for her that the journey became sweeter when the checkers began to win task showing their intelligence and the creativity side of them and people wishing they be in the same group with them and still, even with that, she still had a lot to learn with both the do's and the house. And now, starting with Femi, who is also a child of grace, just like her, watch Femi being nominated and list for all the time to even surviving more weeks in the house. That Femi is soft, uh, kind hearted, and soft spoken, always there encouraging her looking out for her even times when she's down femi will come hand over a handkerchief to her where she'll have to cry out her eyes out that with oc he learns humility that oc never questions any chores you allocate to him never question or complain about any portion of meat you give him he just acts you know for the betterment of the house and that oc was the first person that advised her on how not to allow her past uh, trauma trigger her into reacting a certain way in the present. Onyeka also said that coming into the house, she was scared of showing her body so as it will make people to concentrate on the body rather than the person carrying the body, rather than her brain, rather than the creative part of her, rather than what she's bringing to the table. Dashon was the first person that told her to go ahead, wear your bikini, feel free, you know, do your thing. You shouldn't be bothered about what other people will think or what people will decide to pick and not to pick. And she said that made her ginger her to wear her first bikini and from there it's been operation after operation and it was still sean who advised her not to force her ideas on people that when she give an idea she should relax if people do not take it good and fine if eventually they end up you know failing at least they will learn to come back and take advice or take your ideas but don't force that on anybody's down anybody's throats onyeka also paid tribute to ndine uh Nne of ndine she said Nne was actually the first person that told her not to be at the back or not to not to be bo uh, not to shy away from giving her ideas then there was the one that singled her out to share her ideas with the house and then they created that uh character story i don't know if you can remember the first uh, when Ndine was head of house and that story actually brought her to limelight it made people to look forward to being in a group with her it made people to always want to you know always want her to share her idea when it comes to task or wager preparation or anything and that really made her feel happy of herself because before now people do not really regard her they will always be like this one you know we should turn her good we should not turn her good but seeing this happening in the house and bringing out that creative part of her that really gingered her in the course of her journey in this house that she even remember coming into the house her mom told her being that people find it difficult to understand you who knows how far you'll be able to go on this journey what if you get evicted in the second week and she said then she came in and first week she was already the least for and you needed to see how that made her feel you haven't even stayed long you haven't even secured transportation levy and here you are list four already that it made her to buckle up anything to leave that list for 
content whatever it would take <laughs> she struggled to make sure she does not remain there and she's grateful for how far she has come she even began to thank big brother for you know the whole opportunity because where could it, where could she have been at this point that this year she had zero plan all she did was just surrender her life to god and then this happened this platform happened and here she is now living with friends living with talents and then onyeka began to address the housemates one after the other thank suj for being her backbone in all times nelly for being her baby kelly ray for always helping her wash her clothes and then Wani, she told one imagine after all that fight is now me and you in this final week and to victoria she told victoria that regardless of what happened between them you think i won't call your name <laughs> that what she wants to tell you is that you are the kind of person she just love she bears no grudges for you at all that she does not know what tomorrow will be bringing to them but she just wants to tell you that she holds no grudges against you if she hurts you she's sorry she also advised the housemates that coming from where she came from, she came from nothing. There were times people laughed at her for not using the best of phones, not having the right you know, accessories. But she just wants to tell them that nothing outside can make you who you are. And no matter what you have been through, just know that the most beautiful things can still come out from you. And never be scared to be vulnerable. That should be they did it in this house, did they die? No. Well, for Ozzy, he said he haven't come from a bloodline of kings and great men and people having narratives and assumptions about him. He needed a platform where he will need to showcase himself and clear some assumptions about him and when he came on the show he knew that this was the right one for him and did this show did this show stretch him yes that this social experiment tried him in all level challenged him and stretched him but he's glad though he came with his bestie that's his brother now in fact the first challenge even came in immediately they entered the house and the housemates nominated them as voted for them to be hoh and he was happy because come on people found you worthy just in a few days to lead them and from there they also they also went ahead to set the tone for other heads of house to follow suits but he's glad for the diary sessions where big brother played the role of a big big brother indeed always advising him that all of that played a huge role in his development and he said that the weekly wagers were his best experience in this house i gave him the opportunity to shine and even dig deep you know <laughs> dig deep and discover skills that he never knew existed and you know big brother comments commending him and always telling him how his participation makes others even want to that that ignited a form of confidence in him and that whole task preparation and participation also gave birth to the triple o that's oz oc and onyeka oz said with this experience he has become a very much better version of himself and he's happy for friendship brotherhood sisterhood built on this journey like chizoba most genuine hearted that he's glad osi was able to spot chizoba right on time chizoba played a huge role in making sure him and his brother stay intact and remain friends and brothers and for every time they happen to share the same group during task sponsor task or whatever it's always a pleasure and then to tj intelligent selfless that tj inspired him a lot and what made him happy was when tj came to meet him and his brother to become godfathers to his twins that that made that actually made him happy and even made him feel like oh so someone actually considered them responsible to take such a huge role you know play such a huge role in the life of their children Ozzy also appreciated O.C., telling him how much he, uh, he admires his wisdom, how he's even the younger one, yet always acts like the older one, always here advising, helping out, and he even admires his journey on trying to get closer to God. Ozzy said he's grateful for this platform, and he believes he has been able to fulfill a personal goal, which is to change a narrative, and now he's signing out as a king well the housemates then came up on stage 
clapped for a great presentation and Wani went ahead to say words of affirmation whereby she would say, oh, we'll buy a house, we will do great things, you know, good words. And they all affirmed to it. After which they proceeded to cut their cake. Remember the cake they baked? <laughs> and Big Brother even told them to leave that cake for him. Well, Big Brother also serenaded the housemates with words of encouragement and accolades. Starting with Nelly, he told Nelly that regardless of your injury, it didn't stop you from slaying. It didn't stop you from winning HOH -H twice on a roll. It didn't even stop you, like it didn't reduce your stays at all, that you made it to the finals. And to Wani, he told Wani, the unapologetic one, the crying one, lost to your people same day. Yet, here you are in the finale, the third chihuahua, puzzle server. And for Sean, for Big H, here you are, you did it. And so Victoria, big brother, told her, the shy, quiet one, that who could have thought that that shy, quiet lady went ahead to host a podcast, make outfits, you know, most nominated, and now a finalist. And to Kelly Ray, big brother said, the married man, you froze on stage because the lights was too bright for you but this time around when you go on that stage that you're going to be too bright for the lights and to anita big brother addressed her as lerato herself determination and doggedness that you are more than just a pretty face and talking about task did you say we should forget about the last task <laughs> and biggie then asked the housemates what task is she talking about and they said well we can't remember you know Biggie being Biggie. And so Suj, he told Big Brother, Suj told, uh, Big Brother told Suj, the misunderstood one. Here you are, people considering you as arrogant, but you were fighting an inner battle within yourself. <laughs> that now you've won this battle, you've even overcame, overcome your fears. And here you are, speaking boldly, you now even open your mouth when speaking. And so Nyeka, Big Brother told her, another crying one. That the stories you created in your mind, you know, made it here alive. That you may not have reached your destination, but you are where you're supposed to be, right at the finale. And then to Ozzy, Big Brother called Ozzy the diplomatic one. I'm glad Biggie saw that too. Well, Biggie said, you know, first H O H of the house, you brought, he came into the house with so much pressure on yourself but that pressure has created a diamond in you and big brother now told them that he's super proud of all of them and they were like we love you biggie and big brother then said the feeling is mutual and big brother now told them for the sake of old times you know he went ahead to play that whenever you're waiting for wager results sound that was scary sound that gives high blood pressure but then told them that for today no verdict because you all have won in real life and with that came the final wager presentation of the season final of the finals do not forget that there are other videos to watch of what your faves said during their presentation thank you for watching thank you for listening and i will see you in my next video enjoy the rest of your day good night and if you watch this very moment please do well to drop a love emoji in the comment section and do well to serenade your fave with a word of encourage encouragement in the comment section as well just act like you're biggie for today and write something for your fave i'll be reading enjoy the rest of your day bye thinking about making us godfathers to his twins I'm signing out from the Big Brother show as the biggest O, the wallfire, Setois.